Okay, this is what we need, our ingredients. So I dried the tofu or I patted it dry and then let like the water drain and cubed it and marinated it in some soy sauce and um, fish sauce. There's um, three cloves of garlic, just small cloves, and some green onions to mix in with the sauce. This is half a teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, one fourth cup of tomato paste, one fourth cup of soy sauce, less salt or uh, low in sodium, and then we have more green onions. This is for garnishing. We have um, calamansi juice around two tablespoons. If you can have three tablespoons, the better. And then we have two large uh, beaten eggs and then we have our canola oil. Currently, we are preparing our noodles and for us here, we just we are using the special bihon for our noodles for our pad thai recipe. So let's start cooking. We are now heating our canola oil and once the oil is hot enough, that's when we are going to fry our tofu we're gonna brown it so that's like the main purpose here this is the first step we're going to make remember our tofu generally is tasteless so what you need to do is consider it or treat it treat it like your other protein protein like when you have chicken or pork or beef that you normally marinate it to have flavor with tofu, you have to do the same. Sometimes you even have to put in extra effort. So let's start. Remember we have marinade. We're not supposed to put the marinade in. So we'll just put the tofu. You can tell that some of the marinade is there. So we're right now there's you could see like the the oil like lowered in temperature once we introduce the tofu. One reason for that is that the tofu is packed with water. So there's like some water incorporated so you have to like wait. You can put this on higher heat. The water will evaporate faster, thus the tofu browning faster. Faster. So thank you, Zion, for giving me this spoon. We're now going to add the ingredients or mix together the ingredients we need for the sauce. So here is our soy sauce. I really want to make sure I use up all the ingredients. Soy sauce. And then let's add the other dry ingredients first. So we have our green onions. Don't bring uh, too much. Uh, Green onions and then garlic, like three cloves of garlic, and then tomato paste, one fourth cup as well, chili garlic sauce. Just mix it together. Oh, don't forget the lime juice. This is calamansi juice. The standard recipe for Pad Thai requires lime juice. We don't have limes. We don't have lemons. Well, we have lemons in the supermarket. But the taste of the lemon doesn't really fit for this uh, in this recipe. Let's mix this together and then we'll add this with the rest of the ingredients when we're done browning our tofu wow it's thick look at the consistency let me see let me smell it smells good you can smell like all the ingredients combined and i'm now wondering how it's going to be like i could also smell the tofu there you go okay now this is the step that we're going to scramble the eggs. Mm. 
the pan is not that hot so we're waiting how do you like your eggs some people like like there's the let's say first scrambled eggs there are different types of people like for me I love my scrambled eggs light and fluffy right Tita Grace mm -hmm. we like the same kind yeah. others want it to be really cooked all over for me like when it gets to this consistency I take it out but this time we're not gonna do that because this is like uh, the purpose of the eggs is to add like like an it's an extender since we, this is a vegetarian pad thai we're making we're using tofu and then the eggs we'll make it brown a little bit okay so if you can see the eggs are almost ready is it worth not too brown remember don't really overcook your eggs once it's too brown once it's too brown it's like rubbery it's like synthetic it's not good for your health anymore if you notice it's like plastic like even, even when you fry your eggs okay we'll put that Zion really does that very well. The I shall return part. Okay. So I'm mixing the noodles in already. And then just want to mix it well first. And then we'll just to cook a little bit some more. We're going to put our tofu that has been browned and then toss it first. Somebody is craving for croissants. We have yet to make our black uh, blueberry pancakes. <laughs> this is like the fourth dish or third dish I'm making for my vegetarian or meatless wheat. So I have other dishes in store for the rest of the week that I'm really excited about. Because if you really look at it, if you go online and research or go through cookbooks and stuff, there are a lot of vegetarian dishes that are delicious. And I'm so excited to try them all out. And this is one of them. And I'm looking forward to making the other dishes that I'm, I have planned. I kind of had already set like what are like my meal plan for the week. I'm not imposing this for the rest of the family, but it will benefit them as well if they're going to join me, right? So it smells good. It looks good. Tita Grace said, Name! Name! I don't know if I'm mixing this well. We have to make sure this, like, there is a part of the bihon that's toasted with a egg. Smells good. Tita Grace is here on the side. If only we have another camera to show. She is waiting. You can now see her fork. By the way, Pad Thai, since it's a Thai dish, primarily 
remember like in the ingredients it has chili paste or chili sauce I used a uh, chili garlic sauce it's gonna be very spicy and uh, spicy is not actually good for me primarily for my health so I may have put some garlic chili sauce but it's only enough to create like a bite to complete the flavors to every component of this dish and add like authenticity that it's you know really a pad thai dish and but it's not gonna be too spicy that's gonna be bringing me to the hospital or causing me to go to the hospital have you tried it Tita Grace could you try and then if it's warm already like the middle part there that's enough and do we need to add anything? Remember, you still have to go along the way. Even though you're following a recipe, you have to check, oh. taste check, and then yeah. add salt if you need. It's perfect. Mm. The taste? Mm. Okay, so we can turn this off. And then we can clear it. And Bob here. Later, Z.